hello, friends, or even just myself for viewing this later, because, my goodness, welcome to Battle Brothers. Um, we're gonna load up the campaign. The Gilded Halberds, man, that has honestly been one of the best runs I've had so far, at least in a long time. Um, I've never had such a mercenary bunch do so well. Oh boy, the game audio is very loud for me. There we go. That's much better, I think. I think you guys can hear me much better, anyway. I'll turn it down a little bit more. There we go. Um, yeah, it's uh, been one hell of a journey, friends. Um, now, I, I goofed up, and I started to record a session, and I had to stop, because I realized that I just didn't actually hit the record button. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, here we are. All that you missed was we got paid for our last job, um, and then I spent some of the money. Uh, I ended up recruiting a nun, and you're like, why would you recruit a nun? And I'm like, trust me. They have some pretty good uses. Usually they have like this healing perk tree, which is pretty great. It's not magic. It's literally just like they're good at healing people up, which is really good in a company where we get roughed up a lot. Like one or two bad jobs and we can get really roughed up and not be at, not be able to work very effectively. So that's good. Um, but she has night blind, which I also joked was like me because I, <laughs> I am ter I can barely see in the dark. <laughs> like I, I live obviously it's dark duh like no but like actually like if i go from like any sort of light into dark i literally can't not see <laughs> i'm just like ah, i take forever to adjust um and then like she's got talented which is pretty good so she just gets extra hp and hit uh fatigue and but the extra xp gain is also just huge so just then she can get student but i'm probably gonna give her medicine uh the medicine ingredients much faster um, so she can like uh, unlocks cra uh, the craft advantages of medicine for us, which is huge. Um, which is handy dandy. Mind you, we've been like gathering a boatload of medicine supp medical supplies, which you can't sell these, by the way. I know it's like, oh, just start selling them. I'm like, we can't. Like, <laughs> um, just because I know gathering fruit, getting the fruit from that sometimes is better. But yeah, so I just gave her the simple other jacket on top of her nun robes. I'm honestly like, was like, do I even, what, do I, what if I just like let her stay in her robes the whole time? Because I did that on another run, I had a nun, and she got really high level, and she just stayed in the back line, basically just in her cloister cloth, just like, in the back. And I also had her have a staff, in, in this run and that run, and she was just honestly really strong, <laughs> she just started bapping people. But the reason I got her is because she'll have high resolve as well. And one day, if we can afford a banner, uh, we'll give her the banner so she can like keep people from routing on our side, uh, improve morale. But right now, we got three people with stabs, um, which is funny. We don't have anyone with any like ranged pull arm, like no, no one with an actual pull arm, just staff people. <laughs> Which is fine, because staff people, they can attack twice. If you have a pole arm, you can only, like, thrust once. Which is fine, because you can reposition then if you want, but... Yeah. I also bought a basic male shirt, because it was on the cheap in the marketplace. And I was like, oh yes, we're going to take that. Uh, as for who am I going to give it to, well, I don't know. Who's been with us the longest? 17 days. This whole line's like 17 days. 15, 6... Just joined to... Oh yeah, and we also got, you know, Torgils, but you guys were there for that last episode. He's uh, pretty great, gotta say. 17, 13. Um, you know, honestly, she was a write-off character for me. The Widow. Like, I did not think... I'm honestly gonna take these off. I don't think I'm gonna have her using them. Um, Cause the nun is... Yeah! <laughs> Um, yeah, no, we're good. Yeah, I think we might keep them out of their inventory for now. I don't think they're really that important. I honestly am kind of like, I kind of want to just give them to Bardall so he has even more, um, 
throwing weapons. <laughs> he could just keep hucking things. Uh. Mm. Yeah, honestly, for the extra three fatigue, how much is this in what, three? Mm. Do you have dodge? No. I should give him dodge. <laughs> Even just for the little bit of bonus, because he doesn't have a shield. Uh, I don't know, guys. Do I give him another thing to javelins? Spardol's pretty much just been, like, hucking weapons, like, no tomorrow. I think I will. Whether or not he actually uses them, I, I, I don't know. Because he also does have, like, 60 melee. Like, he's actually very good in the front. Like, I should have him on the line actually meleeing, because it's better than his range, but his range has been like, when it hits, it's devastating. Usually. It's been slowing down a bit. The enemy is starting to get more armored, but... I'll take what I can take, man. Um, anyway, yeah. So I, uh, don't know who to give the chainmail to. Not much else happened. I, uh... Woodcutter's Axe. I don't think I want anyone to use that right now. Like, it's great. This could do 70 damage. But, I mean, like... Eh. Then they don't have a shield. And shields are nice. I guess I could give it to Bardol. Yeah. I'll do that. I'm gonna take the Javis off, then. Bardol will have the shield. This is the Axe. I don't think Bardol has any, like, spear perks. He could get one. He actually doesn't have any axe mastery later on, but... Hmm. Hmm. But he does have throwing weapons. <laughs> I don't know. No, I think... I don't think I'm going to put the Javis on him. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to give her back the Javis. Whoa. I like that. Um, our problem still is the running out of ammunition thing if we have like three people with ranged um so i can't really deal with a fourth anyway so she should be a good compliment um eventually i'm gonna get uh armed uh, actual pole arm so we can work towards mastery but eh eh it's fine a staff is a staff. It's good. But yeah, so we got two people in the back with bandages. Eventually she'll get bandages. Like, she'll get the ability to craft them, which will be nice. I don't know who I'm going to give the chainmail. You already have chainmail? Alright. 80. I mean, I mean, I'm just trying to, like, let's, let's see. Who out of this group has got 70? He's already got chainmail. He's fine. Well, why are you only 75, though? Oh, he's got that really beat-up chainmail. Okay, okay. So let me get started with 90. I should probably give it to her. She's got 60. I think she's earned herself. I think she's gotten a couple kills. Yeah, you've earned yourself with us. Three kills in six days. That's pretty good. Yeah, you've earned yourself a chainmail. We need to start getting more headgear. <laughs> um, like helmets too, because lucky headshots are never fun. Yeah. Uh, that's good. And her shield's kind of beat. So this kind of makes up for the fact she's using some kind of beat-up equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Alright. But yeah. Here we go. Um... There is a contract here. Oh, there's a holiday. That's when I. That's, that's why I bought the chain mail. Because they had a holiday. Spent a day. Um, but a lot of things aren't actually that cheap. To be very honest. I made a note. I was like, oh, the boar spear. But I was like, oh. Eh. <laughs> eh. It's fine.
but I think I'm going to buy their tools. Uh, even if it's just a 10 set, because, man, that's cheap. I don't know. I don't know, boys and girls. Could also just get some padded surcoats. Or even just, oh, honestly, that gambeson is pretty tempting. It's a nice red color, too. Kind of like it. Noah is like, we should save up for headgear. Oh, gambeson, I should buy more armor for the torso. Uh, when he has people that like, literally with like a like a cloth scarf <laughs> for their helmet, and I'm like, ah, for face protection. Good questions. Good questions. Yeah, tower shields are amazing. They provide you so much defense. It's just like the fact the amount of fatigue you lose to have one is insane. It's just like oof. I remember one time I tried, like, late game, I had, like, tons of money and everything. I had a decent company. I was like, let's just buy, like, four tower, like, three tower shields. So I bought three of these damn tower shields and put them in the front line. And my guys in the front, who were really veteran, were getting, like, two or three swings, like, four swings, and then being exhausted. I'm like, yeah, these aren't worth it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, these guys, people that wield these literally just have to stand there. Like, you would have to make it a spearman or something, because they can't have anything, like, actually fatiguing to swing like a mace or like a axe because man it just oh the fatigue the fatigue loss just having one sucks but it gives you some really good abilities like like you can shield someone else so if someone is exposed let's say the archer is exposed you sacrifice your entire cover from bonus from the shield to give it to someone else so you can give it entirely to the archer so if he's out, got pulled the open something weird happened you were ambushed you can just completely negate the fact that he's accidentally on the front line. Um, and yeah, it just gives you a better bonus to shield wall and all that stuff. You know, traditional things. Oh, I don't need it. Especially since I don't have enough pay for two days. Let's just, let's just, you know, stop, think, think. Just snub nose faceplate, aww. That's cute. Even just getting some, like, bat and tails or, like, just a coif would be kind of nice. I can get the chainmail attachment. <laughs> it's kind of stupid expensive for no reason. Uh, we're gonna wait. No, wait. I want to take, do your job. Give me your job. Like, let's see. Freya the steward restlessly walks back and forth. I'll explain the tr what troubles him. There had been an audacious act of thievery. The despicable brigand stole my crystal skull, which is an is an overmeasurable value to me. I implored to hunt the crystal skull. The fools. <laughs> it's now Indiana Jones. I employ to hunt down those thieves and return the item to me. He lowers his voice into an insisting tune. Not only will you get paid handsomely, but you would also set the worried minds of the good people of Waitermark to rest. Alright, cool. Uh, any more in advance? I accept it. Thank you. It's, he just moved some of the money around. Uh, just because I feel more comfortable that way. And I can now buy maybe some provisions, so I don't have to stop and hunt for part of the day um and they're gonna be cheap because it's a holiday so what do i want three days for some fresh fruit dried fruit is better lasting i could just get grains to be very honest seven days 30 coins let's just do that um yeah let's just do that Honestly, we're gonna get two things of it. My company can be sad, like it's fine. And we're just not gonna have to worry about camping for food. Let people rest. Actually, I can't. Uh, we can come back, get paid, and figure out our next moves. Um, where are the footprints? Ah, there they are. 
This would have been a tough spot, actually, because it's a crossroads. I've so been like, oh, where are they? But thank God, they're like, oh, obviously running into the countryside. Great. Obvious footprints. Oh, we're like right on their tail. Funny that, huh? Oh, these, they don't know what's coming. We outnumber them. Double their numbers. In this game, that's terribly bad. You don't want to be on that end when you're terribly outnumbered. Oh, please. You can't outrun me forever. They look scared. Yeah. <laughs> True that. Some bandit rabble and some actual brigands, so. The rabble are a little not much to worry about. And we're in hills, so it's sucky terrain to fight in. Why can't it all just be flat? <laughs> um, we're just gonna wait. Alright, and then... I guess we're gonna throw you here. We're not gonna move them down forward. What am I doing? I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I am gonna move you forward. Good hit. I'm glad I hit the guy with the stick. That was a good choice I made. Snipe. No, okay. <laughs> I had to try. Uh, let's see. I might be able to move him in a sec. Oh. Well. This is going to be a little bit of a messy fight. Good hit. Wow, that's bad. He's in rough shape. Rough shape after that one. So if I can, and I'm gonna attempt, if I can, like, decapitate that guy, I could maybe get his actual armor, which would be kind of nice. Or... We're gonna do wait. We're gonna throw someone else in there. Just move up. We're playing the aggressive game here. And honestly, get in there just because I don't want anyone engaging my archer. So my archer can do the bow and arrow thing. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Burgy, whoa! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Calm down there! Alright. Let's hide in the grass. They'll never see you over there. Oh, the archer's trying to gain ground, huh? They're trying to get ground, huh? Oh! Oh! What a throw, Bardol. Holy hell! I, I'm sorry, I need to look at that one. Bardolf throws axe and hits Brigand Thug. I just... Uh, it must have been in the head? Like, I don't even... <laughs> I was like, he's the only one in the open, I guess. We'll take a shot. Alright, well, run down the, the archer, I guess. Um, yeah. He's probably just gonna run now. Oh, I should have had that. What am I doing? <laughs> yes, everyone run. Run for them. Wow, she's, um... Really, really, uh, one, one of the company, huh? I <laughs> yeah, I mean, just run, dude. Like, honestly, like, that's all you can do at <laughs> this point. Uh, hang on, let's give the dog a little bit of ground. There we go. 
understand. I don't think the dog's gonna catch him, but he might. We'll see. Oh, dog caught him. Gotta make him some armor so he's not doesn't get hurt. You know, it's a weird fight when my people with stabs are chasing people now. It's a strange fight. But they also just act first, so. I guess just everyone run over there. I kind of think it's going to make a huge difference. The one thing that I still dislike is like the terrain sometimes it does make make it harder to see people. <laughs> it's and it's hard to tell like the height. Like I can uh, do this, but you know, it's so he's yeah, so for instance, I didn't know he was that far down. Okay. I like I've been buying everyone like armor, but we're like running around with like literally just an antler. And I'm like, maybe I should get them actual weapons. <laughs> weapons and helmets. We've also just been very fortunate. Aw. It's alright, bud. The cavalry's here. Don't worry, bud. The cavalry's here. Yeah, you leave my dog alone. Don't you dare stab my dog. Honestly, uh... <laughs> well done team yeah, I think I'm good with 12 12 is a good roster size for right now for most of the game we're just going to wait, wait it out until I could, can actually afford like trained people because now the XP is really going to start to get thinned out amongst the group so and we got it and it's in pristine yeah so that throwing axe hit him in the head wow And the hatchet isn't bad either, but wow, that's um very good, guys. We're what a first episode to record today. <laughs> Let's go collect our pay. It's gonna take us a little bit to get back, but not super worried. Right, well, who wants gamison? It's honestly kind of fun colors. Um, uh, let's see. Fifteen days. Uh. His fatigue's hot. His like fatigue and his um, stuff are high. So honestly, yeah, why not? Take these off. Here's the gamison. Yeah, um, barely affected you, huh? 120 armor. Look at that. Her base layer, I think, is more than the thick tunic. So. Uh, you get a trained eye for knowing what people are wearing on, even under all those layers. Uh, I'll give it to. I'm gonna. Her thing, she's gonna always wear her nun's robes. Considering, like, her background, she says she still clings to that holy book, even after, like, everything. So I'm like, I think she, she's not gonna dump the habit. She's like, she'll put, like, a layer or two on top, maybe. But I think she's still gonna keep the habit itself. Um. Uh, thick tunic. Uh, what do you have? You know what? I think you're gonna get the upgrade. You'll drop a little bit of initiative, but really not much, like one. So forty-five is a lot better than thirty-five. Don't want my archer to be as squishy. Could have also given it to him to probably be honest, but eh, I think it's fine. I mean, they're not going to probably get more than 50 armor, 55 armor each for the torso. It doesn't, I don't, they don't need to be hindered as so. And same thing kind of with my people with salves, they can probably just be fine with later armor. Because they're in theory in the back. And in most, in theory, blocking archers if things break the line. So that way no one gets to them. Ugh, they'll get run down. It'll be hard as if we ever fight goblins. 
I hate goblins <laughs> so much. Like, my least favorite enemy is goblins. Because you're like, what? Goblins sound easy. No. These goblins are, like, straight from hell. They got, like, bows that shoot poisonous arrows. They play a game where they keep skirmishing you. So, like, they'll get close enough to shoot arrows back up. They'll, like, have a couple goblins run up with spears to basically block you while their archers continue to throw poisonous arrows at your people. It's, it, they're the worst. Like, honestly, the worst. Alright, um... Uh, let's camp, I think. I don't think we need anyone else to get... Actually... No, I think he's fine. I was like, I could give him this, it would give him a little bit more, but I think he's good for right now. Let's camp. We're in the wastes, but it's fine. Um, okay, who needs to rest? We're going to have our gatherers rest. Um, as well as our... Do we have anything to break down? We do. We have a couple things. Okay. We'll, we'll leave you in there then. And then a few things to repair. Like a bunch of people fletching. <laughs> and two people hunting? Yeah, it's fine. I think that's fine. I might pull you out of the, the hunting. Um, and I might pull uh, you two out. I'll leave both of you in there for fletching right now. Because. It's, we need some production still. But I think giving everyone a chance to rest will be nice. Improve everyone's morale a little bit. Uh, oh, I forgot to put... During camp, while resting, the company starts a conversation about how far away the sun is. <laughs> God damn it. Well, Arvid looks up at it. Wincing and gritting teeth, just about blinded by measuring, finally looking back down to the, <laughs> the conclusion comes. I'd wager it's about 10 to 15 miles away. <laughs> Nodding at the presumably accurate summation. I probably not even that far. I heard a story about an archer in the faraway land hitting it with an arrow. <laughs> I bet Bertie knows the truth. Yeah, I bet our nun knows the truth. <laughs> the church knows. Uh, or we can have an archer take a shot at it. <laughs> ah, what do we want here? Do we want our nun to say to give us the truth on the situation? Uh, or do we want uh, our archer to shoot at it? Let's have our nun do something. Why not? Virtually the Holy One starts in on the conversation. The sun is neither far nor close. It is the eye of many of the gods, the scope through which they used to watch over us. Arvind nods, but then curious, asks about the moon. The religious figure smiles confidently. Do you think the gods would shine upon us at all, for all, <laughs> for all hours? Of course they dim the lights a bit to give us the world's a nice night to sleep in. You nod. Truly the old gods are always looking out for us. Well, that's fun. Bless them. I was gonna say, I forgot to put her in the, um, healing spot in the camp, but no one's really injured right now anyway, so I think it's fine. Zero tools or player one piece equipment, which is nice. Uh, eight units of tools or salvage from the four pieces of equipment. Um, nice, nice, nice. So the better we have someone that's in the, the repair area anyway, the better, the more likelihood we would use less tools, which is good. 18 ammo, got some meat. Let's get moving. People are doing really good for morale right now. But they're not going to be so good when we're low on money. So let's go get more money. And then immediately we have to run and try to find another job. Can I just say, we found a crystal skull. Why can't I have the option to sell the crystal skull? 
That's one thing in these quests. I'm like, what happens if, why can't I just like take the object and sell it somewhere else? Oh, our gratitude. Thank you. All right, no jobs here. We still have the holiday. Time for food and drink. I mean, I did buy food and drink from here. Not gonna lie. Um, I'm actually gonna sell that bit of fresh meat we just got. Because why not? I'm gonna also sell that. And that. You don't need the snap. I don't need a garden hoe. To be very honest, really don't need that. Don't need that club. Um. Yeah, we're doing wonderful, boys and girls. Wonderful indeed. Alright, let's go with the armor here. I'm gonna take one last check. Check a do. No, he doesn't have any, like, cheap helmets. Well, I think then we gotta go find a weaponsmith. That's our next mission. Is to maybe get good weapons or armor. Like helmets. Taxidermist. Taxidermist. Where is the weaponsmith? I saw one at one point. Oh, they have one up here, right? Yeah. But, like, that's really far. Armor. Scajold loves us. Well. Let's go over here. Let's go see if there's jobs over here, I guess. And then we will, um... Do what must be done. We still haven't seen any more roving packs of beasts, which is kind of funny. I'm kind of okay with it, because I'm not a huge fan of, like, some of the scarier monsters in the world. But, you know... I'll take on spiders or uh, dire wolves. Okay, well, there is a contract. Eagle of uh, Tamamus got a few dogs at his feet, all tuckered out, with their tongues lolling. They spent the past few days hunting for missing folks. Folks that are seemingly disappeared by the gods. To gods, nowhere. He leans down and pets one of the hounds. Scratching it behind the ears. Usually a dog would respond to that, but the poor thing barely even responds. Oh, sorry. That was, that was anyway. Folks don't know what I know, though. Which is that people ain't just disappearing. They're being taken. Horrible beasts are afoot, Zillsword, and I need you to go after them. Hell, maybe I'll even find someone or two of the town folk, though I doubt it. One of the mutts let out a long, tired wheeze, almost as if on cue. What's it worth to you? 600 crowns. I'll accept it. And this is probably Beast. Yeah, Beast Tracks. Alright. Let's go see what the, what it is. All right, well, it looks like we can at least get on the road. We don't need to walk through the tree line. Well, let's cut it off. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Look, it's. Oh no, not the them the, the body eating monsters. Ah. How how terrible. Now we play waiting game. Him having impatient is gonna be great. Oh does it him that's impatient? Just the fact that they can <sighs> run Get to go first. Yeah, I think getting more like actual weapons would probably be good. Like uh, you know, not an antler. Maybe not a, a claw club. Like I I'm gonna count the hatchet and like the bludgeon and militia glaives. Those are like weapons. Even like the actual cleaver, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna count that. That's fine. It just the more less peasanty we can start to look, I think the better off. <laughs> the more money we can ask for. Everyone wait. 
you take a shot. Take another shot. Oh, I shouldn't have killed one. That was a dumb move. Now, well... Glad you suck. Damn it. Uh, that was a mistake. Now do I throw my whole line forward? So basically, they eat corpses and they get stronger. So they'll, they'll eat their own as well. So I'm like, do I... Uh, I know, I think we wait. We'll just deal with one that's stronger. We'll just have to deal with it. Yeah, we're just going to have to deal with it. Deal with our mistakes, gentlemen. Could push both of them down. No. 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 Alright, now aim for a different one. Okay. That's fine. I should probably have just moved him back for the second action. But it's okay. We're fine. There's some people that are confident. Spear wall. I'm not gonna shield wall because I don't think I need to. Ugh. It's strong. Stronger. It also heals them if they eat, which is a, sometimes very annoying. But when they get to a certain stage, they can literally just swallow your guys whole. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> and then you have to try to kill it so that your guy can come back outside of it. <laughs> or, bleh. We'll just wait. We're just waiting. They don't want to charge into my spear. Which is fine. Fine, we're fine. Everyone wait. Good hit. Yeah, rip deer. That's I'm glad you did that. Awesome. Great. There you go, stab guts. He took his confident away, which is good. Have you wait? Have you wait? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because he becomes so much stronger. When look how much stronger he is. He's taking two axes, an arrow. We just broke him from halfway. All right. Um. These guys are all still waiting to move. I'm gonna throw up another spear wall. I'm gonna hit that space bar. Yeah, they don't want to run into it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> well, Spear Wall did not work. But I think that's fine. I think at this point, we advance and start swinging. With everyone that's left. Doesn't have enough to move there, though. to do it, but we just need to keep them from eating corpses. Alright, Mr. Spearwall. Oh, it doesn't work yet because he's engaged. That's fine. He hits so hard. Daze him, please.
please, we need to take that one down so bad. Can't throw because you're engaged. That's fine. Cause switching for you is a free action. Poke him. Good poke. Alright. Bartles entered the fray. Some of these misses are not so fun. Uh, prime yourself for debilitate. Not that it really matters. Just, you know, your next attack being good would probably be fine with me. Okay, both of them are cheating. You're gonna try to peel around here. They're all retreating. Alright. I want your ingredients give to me. Oh. My gosh. Matt, this will be it. Yeah. Alright. XP. Yummy, yummy. I've got a couple people leveled up. I'm guard and Signy. Yucky brains, but we got horns. Um, which sell. I think those actually do sell for some good money. Alright, let's head back to town. We're not that far, which is nice. We're gonna actually get the. Spend uh, some money. I might even buy food again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, they still have the septum here, huh? I did say I want real weapons. That hasn't changed. Hmm. Do we get a septum? In which case, I think I would get the damaged one. Oh, we could all. Oh, or the hunting bow. Ooh. Actually, it's not as huge an improvement. It's like 10 extra damage potential. I mean, I guess the, like, the low is only 40, which is kind of nice. But our archer also just has so much bonuses to using the, the short bow from her perk tree already. Like, she's got, like, extra range skill. She has, like, extra damage as well now. So it's just like, ah... And we'll give her the bow mastery next, so. Uh, I don't think I'll get the hunting bow yet. That's not a, not a go. I think if I was going to get anything, I'll get him the better crossbow if I ever came across one for cheap. True believer, my friend. You were gonna hold that back line. If the people getting wounded and hurt in front of them. I don't want my person who's providing the support to be running away. I'm like, come on, you're the. <laughs> you're supposed to help. <laughs> 60 is good. Um. Jeez, I'm gonna give you the health, I guess. And range defense, actually. So for the passing arrow, it's not going to smack you upside the head. <laughs> she wants to be an archer. I did say I was going to start boosting her. Um, oh, let's do that. Yeah, we'll do the level up and then we'll call the episode. Um, I will boost her range because I think eventually what I want to do is 
maybe have her be another archer. Um, and just, you know, with 58 melee, which is great. So if she gets engaged, she can actually hold her own. That's wonderful. But, 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 but. Give her the initiative. I mean, four to range defense is hard to pass up. Especially when you don't have a shield. So, we'll take it. Oh. And that's, that's it right there. Staff block. It's so good. It's, like, so freaking good. Uh, anything else that would be... Uh, yeah, we're gonna use staff block. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. She's got tw now she now I can throw her on the front line if I want. Like now she has just as much as anyone with a shield <laughs> for for uh, 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 range and melee defense. Like it's because like this gives them fifteen and staff block gives I think actually sixteen. So it's even better than having a shield. Um, I'm not going to, but I know that I can, which just makes them better, like I said, for when we're pushing the front, like, pushing our line forward, to know that, like, I know not to be as worried about putting her up front or right next to a foe, because she can actually, in theory, hold her own pretty well. And she can help keep the archers safe. Uh, and it's also great. Um... Yes. I think that was all. Was that all the levels? That's everyone? Alright, yeah. We'll call it here and we'll come back and maybe do some shopping or just plan our next adventure. See you guys then.